I'm going to do a uh, quick video here on my 65 gallon tank. Um, I just went through a bout of um, ick um, water change, three treatments, lost one fish, uh, but all is well now. Fish are cleared up, going well. Water nice and clear. I've also been recording with the D, um, G, DJI Osmos Pocket. Um, I really like this small camera. You can use it as a standalone um, without using your phone, but I have it hooked up to a iPhone um, so I can see a bigger monitor. I'm not a professional professional reviewer, but I really, really enjoy this camera. Uh, I'm a hobbyist in the photographical world. Um, you can see that on my YouTube page. Um, this is a uh, hobby that I have. I have three aquariums. I have a 65 in my front room, a um, 125 cichlid tank in our family room. And I also have a 125 gallon um, tank in my man cave, which is getting ready to um, do a complete change on that. But I just want to do a little review on this camera. I find this thing for an amateur to be absolutely amazing. I've used it so far just, you know, Christmas time. I've used it here uh, in my aquariums. Uh, the collars pop. Um, you know, I just got everything set on auto. You know, it just does a fantastic job. Would I recommend this camera? Oh, yeah. For a hobbyist that wants sta stable videos, I think this is the way to go. The clarity is good. I like the three axle gimbal. Um, I think, and, and believe me, I'm, I'm not like the guys on YouTube. I watch them. I enjoy their videos. Um, they're professional. I mean, some of these young guys, I mean, they really do a good job. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm just a 62, 60, soon to be 63 year old man that has a hobby that I enjoy. So I'm telling people of my age. Uh, the baby boomers that hey you can use one of these cameras it doesn't take a whole lot to set them up um, I believe the uh, camera company um, is doing a major step forward into the camera being so small I mean you can pull it out of your pocket in five six seven seconds you can record because it doesn't have to be hooked up to a phone a cell phone you can just use it as a standalone and then upload the, vid the video off of your memory card that's in the osmos to your phone and then you know go to youtube you can bring it down do i think the editing software is that good on the uh, osmo um, uh, app no i don't but it's still usable because that's all i've been using here for the past few videos as you can see, the camera just just as steady as it can be. I'm following the fish away. Uh, it has a hard time tracking the fish, but you know I can set it. But it, I don't know. It just there. I'll, I'll try to track this fish and see what happens. When I do this, I, I track, it gets a little bit stuttery, I think. But, hey, for the price, for amateurs, which I think it's intended for, even though a lot of these guys that are professionals are doing a good job with it, pretty amazing. Um, like I said, I had about an ick in this tank, lost one fish, it saddens me when that happens. Uh, but you know here we are it's life they're doing well i buy the fish when they're really small 
grow them out and then I move them into my larger aquariums. Uh, the parrotfish, they'll, they'll probably stay in this tank. I'm going to create an angelfish tank aquarium for my wife. Um, we had babies in the 165 gallon tank downstairs and she would like to, to breed angelfish. So I think we're going to do that. So this is about a five minute video. Thank you for watching as always. And we will see you on the next one. Thank you.